welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do your Anything Goes reading. Uh, Anything Goes can, means this can be about career, finances, situations with family, friends, whatever messages uh, that you need to know that come out. This is your weekly reading, uh, October 27th through November 2nd. Remember it is general and timing can be flexible. Everything you need to know is in the description box. If you'd like to request a personal reading, if you'd like to enter uh, my giveaway, I do give away two personal readings every month. There's also some links in there if you'd like uh, to check out your other signs or learn what your other signs are. <clears throat> uh, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. So thank you, Virgo, for all your love, your support. I do appreciate it. And let's get started with your reading. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo for October 27th through November 2nd? Let's get three cards, please. Ooh, nice card, Virgo. You have the Empress. You have the Queen of Fire. I just heard you're on fire, Virgo. <laughs> Oh, that, those two cards, you're on fire, Virgo. Wow, you got beautiful energy radiating from you is what I'm getting. And then you have here the three of earth. Oh boy, look at this. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the fortune's wheel. Beautiful energy here, Virgo. You are on fire here. <clears throat> Okay, so Empress energy here. This is uh, number three. You have two threes here. So I feel here, Virgo, you are in that energy right now that you are definitely manifesting very beautiful things in your life. Or you're at the beginning of manifesting beautiful things in your life. But you have here also the uh, fortune's wheel. So this tells me here you're manifesting beautiful blessings coming into your life, things turning in your favor, uh, you know, destiny at play here. You also have here the Queen of Fire. So I do feel here too, there may be, um, this can be about you being passionate, okay, there may be something new, some new project here with the three of pentacles that you may be feeling very passionate about uh, or you may be working with someone uh, you know teamwork collaboration here uh, this can even be working on um, a love connection as well all right but i also see the three of pentacles is uh, there's something very very beautiful here uh, I'm getting here usually it I feel here it can be like somebody uh, just kind of sending a message or you know something like the whole world can see here but I'm getting here it's kind of like you have this really radiating energy right now where people are looking at you and people are seeing this beautiful energy so this is really really positive so I feel like you're manifesting beautiful things in your life. Some of you may be starting a new passion, working on a new project here. Uh, but I feel here, you know, with the wheel, uh, fortune's wheel here, it's going to bring you a lot of blessings here. And, you know, things are going to really work out here for you. So beautiful energy here, Virgo. So let's uh, move on now to some more tarot or some more tarot to gain more clarity here i'm using the arcanum tarot deck let's get one more shuffle let's cut the cards here Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Virgo? October 27th through November 2nd. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Virgo? We have the Four of Swords. 
We have here the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting here, you have the Four of Swords and you have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like for some of you, you may have been feeling uh, like you were in a situation that you were feeling stuck. Okay, you have the Queen of Fire here, which tells me here there was, there is some action that, that needs to take place. But I'm also getting here, you may have felt that way. And, and I feel here for a lot of you, like I said, I feel you're at the beginnings of manifestation here. So some of you may have been taking some time to yourself to really think about things, gain some clarity, figure out why you're feeling stuck here, and really gaining insight here, okay? Listening to uh, your higher power here, gaining that insight through meditation, or just being in a place where you can feel some quiet. So I do feel here there's a situation uh, you know, with another person, it may even be, you know, if this is work for you, there may be some sort of project or something here where you were feeling uh, that you were stuck. Uh, for others, you know, if this is your passion, you may have gotten to a certain point and may have felt stuck. If you haven't already been doing some meditation or taking a break, I feel here that is what the guidance is here. All right, so some of you also too may be on a break uh, from a job or career here and this is igniting uh, your passion this can be love too where you were feeling stuck as well but the good news is you have here the knight of swords and you have here the page of pentacles i do feel here there is a message of good news coming in for you there is some communication coming in I do feel here it's going to be good news. If it's from a sp specific person that you know, I do feel here this is a younger energy here. And I do feel here that this person is going to want to work together on your situation, whether this is a work situation, a love situation, or even a family situation. But there is the potential here uh, for the two of you to work together. I'm also getting here, this can be a new um, offer, a new job opportunity, can even be um, getting some communication of receiving some sort of financial benefit for work you've already done, a collaboration you've already done, or teamwork uh, project, or you know, you could be a contractor is what I'm getting as well. So let's keep going to see uh, what other messages we have for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here for Virgo? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Look at that. Six of Wands. Page of Swords. The Death card. And bottom of the deck here, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like this, this is a situation, uh, if this is a financial situation for you, I do feel here it's a situation where you may have been feeling like you have to be more practical. You may be not spending a whole lot trying to save your money here or maybe even feeling uh, the, you know, feeling stuck where you felt like thing, you know, money was not coming in as quick as you wanted, okay? Um, for others, I'm getting here with the Four of Pentacles, if this is a love situation for you, uh, or you were waiting for some communication from someone, I feel here this is an energy as somebody was holding back in the situation. Uh, I feel like it's the person that you're dealing with because I do see here somebody coming in with communication. Uh, I'll go over the signs after we get all the uh, tarot cards out. But I do feel here, um, you know, it possibly could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Could You know, if it's another Virgo here. Uh, but I do feel here, whoever you were dealing with, uh, there was some 
someone holding back in the situation. But as I said, there could be, you know, an offer coming in here. You have this, ooh, you have, sorry, I almost dropped the card. You have the six of wands here. So beautiful energy. You're manifesting this. You've taken some time to gain some clarity here. I do feel here there is victory here in the situation. I do feel here there is um, definitely people around you who are going to be supportive. And as I said, I feel like you're on fire. You know, it's like your energy. You are just glowing. People like you. Um, so I do feel here there is success. This can even be you meditating on your goals. Okay. Or you um, manifesting your goals here, putting the, that intention out into the universe. So I do see here success here. And I do see here that you are going to be determined um, in moving forward with your goals in this situation. Now you have the Page of Swords. With the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords, I feel here there was lack of communication here uh, in the situation. And that might be why here there was some sort of action I was seeing before that needed to be taken here. As I said, communication is coming in. You were feeling stuck here, I feel, because there was no communication, uh, you know, whether this is love, family, or, you know, just communication about, you know, a financial situation, a job offer, what have you. Okay, this can even be a child that you're dealing with as well. Uh, can also uh, be somebody who is being aloof and distant with you. Okay, this is a younger energy, uh, or they could just have a younger energy about them. So there was definitely um, a situation of feeling stuck. Now you have the death card here. This is uh, Scorpio energy here. So this tells me here, there's a new offer coming in. There is communication coming in, and I do feel here... Uh, it can be a new, uh, something new, okay? Something new that's going to bring a blessing here. Uh, can be a communication coming in from a situation that ended. But I'm feeling here this is more about a transformation here. You're going through a trans transformation uh, where now you are manifesting beautiful things in your life. And I feel here too, I'm hearing you're being more logical about things um, instead of, you know, within your heart here. Actually, we don't have any cups on the board here. So we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Strong, Scorpio. Oh, yeah, that was water energy. We have here um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And Aries Leo Sag. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. Now remember, you have the fortune's wheel here. So this tells me there is uh, blessings coming in for you. I feel here too, you're starting a new cycle. This is destiny. This was meant to happen so that your blessings could come in here. You have uh, the four of pentacles, which we talked about. You have the judgment card, okay? You have the judgment card and you have here the five of swords. So I do feel here there was some sort of conflict in the past. And I do feel here there's some communication coming in about that. There is something here that's going to happen. So there may be somebody rushing in with some communication um, to assist you, may, maybe assist you financially, or this can be this person in the past that you were feeling stuck with or feeling, you know, there was some confrontation or this person may have been playing games with you as well and the next card that you have here look at this you have uh, the full card so I talked about how I feel here you're going through a transformation here there may have been an ending um, in your situation but you're transforming um, the situation is transforming into something beautiful Okay, something abundant, something uh, that's going to bring a lot of blessings. You just have to have that energy of, of wanting to take that leap of faith to move into the new. 
because I do see here with the next card with the Queen of Cups, you are going to feel emotionally good about it. Okay, so here's that cup energy I was talking about. So I do feel here overall uh, taking that leap of faith, taking that risk into the new. I do see here a new offer coming in for you. As I said, you're manifesting this. You're on fire here. I do feel here you're going to feel really good about it. It can even be an offer uh, to work on a project or a team situation. It can be an offer of love. Okay, so let's pull some angel answer cards. Now this is angel guidance. Now this uh, can also be an answer to a question. This is an answer deck. Thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Virgo? Let's get three cards, please. Got one more. Okay, first card you have here is peaceful resolution. So this tells me here there is going to, this fell right here with the victory card, there is going to be success and a peaceful resolution to this situation. You're going to feel good in your heart. You're going to feel peaceful about it no matter what happens. You have here compromise. Okay. You were in this stuck energy, so there is some balance coming here, or there may be um, something that needs to happen, some action needs to be taken here to find compromise in the situation. If you're dealing with another person, uh, there needs to be balance, okay? And it can be the person that you were dealing with or the situation, uh, you know, was out of balance, and that's why you were feeling stuck. You have here, there is something better, okay? Look at this. There is something better. There's communication coming in and there's a new offer coming in or good news or something financial coming in for you. So your angels are confirming this. This fell right on these two cards that there is something better coming in for you. And then the last card that you have here is remain positive, okay? And this fell right on the Five of Swords and the Judgment card. So there will be judgment. There will be uh, fairness and karma here, okay? There was some sort of past conflict. And your angels are saying here, remain positive, okay? You may not be able to see things clearly because of this past conflict, but they're saying there's something beautiful coming in for you, just like this bouquet, Okay, so remain positive because, look at, there's two bouquets here because <laughs> there's something beautiful coming in for you. Some of you, this can be, you know, new love coming in for you. Some of you, this can be, I feel here, you know, even, you know, a proposal here, a gift. Uh, maybe somebody is going to bring you flowers or a gift or something. That's what I'm getting here. So beautiful energy here for you, Virgo. I hope you gain some clarity. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, details are below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.